my delusion dispeller back again. So yes, my stepdad was very dysfunctional. Um, after that, there were teachers that were kind of dysfunctional. There was a priest that was kind of dysfunctional. I won't go into every single person in my life that was dysfunctional because we'd be here forever. There were so many people that were very toxic to me. But I also learned a lot about how not to treat people by watching how they treated me. So I guess I turned what was probably going to be very harmful in my life around for something that ended up being helpful to me and allows me to help other people as well. So going on from there, um, I moved in with my foster parents when I was 17, 18 years old and an unwed mother. Gave birth to my daughter. There were some dysfunctional people in that situation. People that we knew. People that encountered, that we encountered in the family that were really messed up. Some of my ex-boyfriends were very dysfunctional. Um, some even quite emotionally abusive. I think that was my first taste of emotional abuse was with one of the boyfriends that I was with at the time. Um, would play a lot of head games. You know, I love you. I don't love you. Um, I want to be with you. I can't be with you. That kind of stuff that's, I guess, pretty typical in relationships, but probably more so dysfunctional because once you've grown up in a really twisted, dysfunctional family or household, um, you're easy prey for people that are abusive and toxic. So I found myself attracting these guys that were really toxic to me throughout my life, really, um, and got pregnant by one of them who doesn't have anything to do with our daughter, um, but he went on his merry way, and I guess he has a son or daughter or whatever himself, and so he lived, quote-unquote, I guess, happily ever after, and my daughter's doing just fine. She's in the men medical field, and she's married. She has a stepson, and she's a beautiful girl, and she's on a worship team, and I'm very proud of her. So she turned out okay. She did get the brunt of the abuse in my marriage, my first marriage, though, and that was really hard. And we'll be talking about that, too. Um, so, yeah, that was when I lived with my foster parents, a lot of dysfunction with the boyfriends that would come in and out of the house and things like that. From there, um, I met and married my ex-husband, and... He is and was very dysfunctional. He was raised by a man who grew up in an orphanage. And back in that era, orphanages tended to be very abusive. So I wouldn't doubt there was a lot of stuff like that that went on that back then was seen as okay and normal. Like the idea of taking somebody out behind the woodshed and beating them with a switch. Oh yeah, that was okay. Even on Little House on the Prairie, they show people being, you know, beaten with straps and stuff, and that's normal. Well, to me, that's abuse. Um, back then, it was seen as, oh, well, it's a spanking, it's a lickin'. They used to playfully call it a lickin'. Well, those lickins have caused a lot of emotional and psychological damage to people, and that is why I have what's called clients, because of the damage that was done by those so-called harmless lickins. Um, yeah, well, so anyways... That was uh, back then, and my former father-in-law, who passed away, uh, was the, of course, father, so-called father, of my ex-husband, and taught him that children were there to be little workhorses and slaves, and that if they didn't comply, they got beaten. And my ex-husband had a few beatings himself, although he will tell you that it made him the man he is today made him the fine citizen he is and the good worker and the good responsible man he is today. Unfortunately, it made him a narcissist that he is today. Someone that has no idea about empathy, no idea about people's feelings and how what you do affects how somebody else reacts and feels about you or about that situation. Um, very entitled, titled person. Um, feels that he knows pretty much everything about everything and his answer is always the right one and will argue you into a hole if you don't agree with him. Stay tuned, I'm going to talk to you more about him.